My name's Emma Rogers and I created the sculpture Ovation. The sculpture is based on an English oak, the monarch of the forest and one of the most loved trees in the world. It's a symbol of strength, wisdom, nurturing and healing, only fitting to celebrate the life of John King, the adored husband of Laura. The foliage is represented by hands clapping applause in praise, love and appreciation of the team here at St George's and the incredible NHS. I think the tree describes life and nature simply but beautifully. Growth, renewal, hope and love. There are emotions which I hope all patients feel during their care at St George's. The tree is also linked to the gardens here where it is sited. It's hand sculpted and fabricated from stainless steel. Patinated highlights of gold leaf, detailed silhouettes of the leaves are layered to give the impression of light breaking through on a sunny day. The leaves are cut individually, however they are actually silhouettes of hands in mid-applause. From far away they appear to be foliage on the trees, but on approach you realise they are hands clapping to symbolise our thanks to St George's Hospital and the amazing team at the NHS. The applause will grow over time due to the hands being added from people donating to the charity, as I endeavour to create a piece of artwork which people can be part of by sponsoring their own pair of hands. Applause, a symbol of thanks, praise, appreciation to the NHS. By purchasing this, you can provide much needed funds for such an important charity. Each sponsorship is personalised, long lasting and meaningful way of helping the charity to improve care and there's also the added opportunity to have one displayed on your house or office. The garden is a beautiful and peaceful space allowing patients, visitors and staff some time to contemplate and breathe in fresh air or simply relax and catch up with friends. Having artwork in environments like these are so important for the patient. I know from Laura and her time with John here that is such a calming distraction and a sanctuary and how much it was appreciated and welcomed whilst at St George's. It's a space that will continue to evolve. I feel privileged to be a small part of this and can't wait to see the ovation start to spread across the walls of this beautiful garden. Hospitals have a lot in common with prisons. Why is that? Well, you're admitted, your clothes are taken away, you're given a uniform, you're given a number, you're put in a small confined space, you have to obey orders, you can't see the sky, and then probably you're subjected to a rectal examination. I think an awful lot of medical staff at all levels just don't realise until they become patients themselves just what a horrible environment most modern hospitals are. And if you can humanise that, as we're trying to do at St George's, by turning these empty balconies into gardens, you really are doing a huge amount to help your patients recover, to cope with often terrible illnesses, and also helping the staff to cope with what is often a very, very stressful job. We're very lucky that we have these balconies, and we're very lucky that so many people have supported us so we can make this wonderful dream come true of gardenising all the balconies around the Atkinson Morley Wing of St George's Hospital. The process behind building the show garden um, started at the beginning of the year um, when I met with the charity and we discussed how we wanted to create this amazing space for patients to come out and sort of sit and relax and, and take a break away from their treatment and their stay in hospital. The garden itself features lots of little seating areas and nooks where people can sit and relax and feel completely immersed in nature um, with wildlife and flowers and trees. It's just, yeah, try and make an oasis for all those people. Why, why do we surround ourselves with flowers and green things? Because we all know we feel happier and more relaxed and more at peace when we're surrounded by things that are growing. It's a strange fact that until recently, in most English hospitals, we had no access as patients to flowers and sky and green growing things. Only in hospices, when you're dying, are you finally allowed to have access to green spaces again. The wonderful thing about the John King Foundation and their work at St George's is almost by accident, the hospital, the new building in which neurosurgery is based, ended up with very large balconies immediately outside the patient areas. Quite a, few quite a few hospitals nowadays have healing gardens, but they're almost invariably miles away from where the patients actually are. And no patients want to walk down long corridors in their night clothes, dragging drip stands and urine bags. The great thing about the Atkinson Morley Wing is by chance, 
we can actually create gardens immediately outside the patient areas. We've been doing this now for some years and the plan now is to extend the gardens all the way around to include the intensive care unit. This is a wonderful project. I cannot imagine a better, more effective way of helping our patients and I hope you'll do everything you can to support us. So shortly after I submitted the garden design to the RHS, I accidentally fell down a step and shattered my ankle and found myself at St George's Hospital. This was the first time I'd ever been to this hospital in this area since moving to London and I immediately felt sort of safe and the staff were so lovely and accommodating. I spent a bit of time there after I had my surgery and I spoke to many nurses there about the projects that I was doing, we were doing working with this garden. And so it kind of just makes me want to work even harder to create these spaces for not only patients, but staff, nurses, doctors, administration staff, to give them this space, this little sort of escape away from all the, the hustle and bustle of the hospital. And um, it just, yeah, my personal sort of experience with this has definitely pushed, pushed me harder to, to try and make this amazing show garden. I really hope that this garden is the first of many and a really exciting project to bring roof gardens and green spaces to our hospitals across the UK. We can only do this with donations, so thank you very much for everybody that has donated to this point and hopefully going forward we can create some really special spaces.